chronic use of alcohol often creates brain chemistry imbalances. It's a chicken and the egg kind of thing. The alcohol use can also stem from brain chemistry imbalances. Regardless of which comes first, one problem related to alcohol use and brain chemistry could be Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's research has come a long way thanks in part to actor Michael J. Fox and boxer Muhammad Ali. The central nervous system disorder is characterized by symptoms like tremors or rigid limbs or slow movement, and those stem from the death of cells that produce dopamine, a chemical in the brain. After following up with patients who had been to the hospital due to alcohol use, Swedish researchers investigated whether alcoholism was linked to Parkinson's disease and found a relationship between the two. Patients who used alcohol were 1.4 times more likely to develop Parkinson's disease than patients who didn't use alcohol. The risk was heightened among patients who had been to the hospital for alcohol use disorders before they were age 44. Alcohol can cause a flux in the dopamine levels, and this damages the brain tissues also at the cellular level, and that was covered in a previous episode of the Sobriety 60+. Plus. More research lies ahead for the alcohol-Parkinson's connection, but enough connection has been revealed in the Swedish research and related animal studies to debunk old school thinking that alcohol had a protective effect when it came to Parkinson's. If the evidence-based science isn't enough, consider this. Alcohol is a central nervous system depressant and can cause many symptoms that mimic, exacerbate, or completely mask the Parkinson's symptoms. And another point of fact is that anti-Parkinson's meds and the alcohol are harmful combination and the mix can even overwhelm the liver's ability to metabolize either one of the drugs. The 10% of your body mass between your ears operates best when the delicate balance of the brain chemicals with which we're all born and specifically the dopamine and serotonin are balanced. Tossing a known toxin into the balance isn't likely to yield changes that are going to turn out good and may cause permanent damage for the future. I'm Scott Stevens. That's the Sobriety Sixth.